Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. It's all about planting seeds and making your space into a garden of Eden. I hope you stay tuned. Hi everybody and welcome back to today's video. It is the end of March for me and I have got to get working because time is of the essence. So I have all of my things ready in my raised garden bed and we're going to be planting tomatoes and peppers. I'm actually 10 days late. I always, always planted my tomatoes and peppers before this, but you know what? Better late than never, right? So let's get into the video and let's get planting my tomatoes and my peppers and then I'll show you what else I'm working on today. Come on everybody, let's get started. Finally outside and we wanna plant some tomatoes and peppers. Now they will go in the house until the middle of April. Then I'll transplant them all out here in the greenhouse behind me. It's just a little too cold here in Eastern Pennsylvania to be planting things in the greenhouse because if the temperatures get below freezing, your plants, no matter where they are, outside or inside, they will freeze and then they will die. So now we're planting our tomato plants. Now I'm going to show you my method of doing so. This takes a, a little more work, but you're more of a success in your planting of your seeds. I buy my seeds from Renee's Garden. I am an affiliate with her, but she is a family owned garden center and her plants are beautiful. And so I just pretty much plant her seeds unless it's, I pretty much always plant her seeds for my vegetables and I will show you some other things I'm working on. So we have these, and these came from the grocery store. Plant them in a container like this. We're gonna mass plant them. And when they get their second leaves, which is called the true leaves, then we will transplant them into individual cups. So it's really simple today, what we're going to do. I will be transplanting these tomatoes probably three different times in the course of their planting season, only because that way it ensures a healthy plant. You see I have a knife. The knife is I'm going to use to just poke little holes in where the soil is. Now the soil is burpees seed soil. It's potting soil made just for garden seeds. Dollar Tree soil you do not want to use, it will burn your plants. And then you take your hand and you pat it down real good and tight so the seeds have contact with the soil. And it's really important to label. Label everything because if you don't label, you won't remember the variety. This is Roma. So these are for tomato sauce. I'm going to go ahead we're going to close them up. So now we take a Dollar Tree little steak and we're going to make sure we put Roma on it. Take shower caps. Yes, my friends, shower caps. And these are going to guarantee your seeds are going to germinate. So we take one shower cap. Now it's been watered and we're going to put it over top of our seeds and this is going to help it germinate because it's producing a small little greenhouse. The chocolate peppers I love and it's Hudson Valley seeds. That's where I got these. Hey right, everybody, so now we're going to work on the Dollar Tree tomatoes. Now, to have success with the Dollar Tree tomatoes, there's some things you need to do. You see the pots that they come in have these large holes. If you don't do something about that, all of your dirt is gonna go through these holes. Take a sandwich bag, then you wanna take a sandwich bag and you wanna put it through your little pot just like this, okay? So we're gonna go like this and we're gonna put a sandwich bag in there. So we have the sandwich bag that looks like that. And you're gonna roll it down. It comes with its own dirt and let me show you. It comes in a compressed thing like this. I don't like using these for seeds because for me, I seem to have a problem with germination. So I will fill these up with my own potting soil. Now you wanna fill it up only half full 
because it comes with one of these. Now we're gonna put this on top of the soil. Now we're gonna put soil on top of that as well. And there you go. And that's how you plant these Dollar Tree ones because they are a little bit flimsy and if you wanna have success with your seeds, you have to do it this way. So there we go, we planted it. It was so simple. And they come in all different different kinds of things. So I'm doing the tomatoes and I have basil, but it's too early to plant the basil yet. So it looks like this. Now we're just gonna water it like we normally do. All right. And now I'm gonna put another baggie on top. Now I would use my bowl covers, but I need these for other projects. So just a little baggie will do the job. So you put the bag on top. As soon as your, as soon as your plants are germinated, as soon as your plants are germinated, then you wanna take the bag off the top. You do not leave that bag on or you'll get mold growing in your soil. The bags and the covers are only for when your seeds, till they germinate. And once they germinate, you take the bags off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with both of these Dollar Tree kits. So they're easier to carry around. I found one of these trays at the thrift store last year, and it's become quite handy when you have different kinds of, different sizes of pots like this, or cups of seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with different kinds of seeds, and then we'll go on to our next project. So I got this at the thrift store for 50 cents, and you see a lot of these in the store, and in order to have good germination, you have to follow the same steps. I will plant them in what it came in, but I will use my own soil and I will cover the tops. So things like this are usually extremely expensive when you wanna get them at a department store, but at the thrift store for 50 cents, I think it was a good deal, and we'll see if they germinate because they are probably a couple years old. So this is just gonna be a little bit of an experiment to see if I can get these to germinate. For me, having all kinds of different kinds of seeds and the, the challenge of germinating older seeds is something I really enjoy, so I'll give you an update on these. Just remembered that I had this little gem. Now I got this, yes, it came from China. I got this four years ago, but you put it on top of a water bottle. So this is a glass one and it's your very own sprinkler for seeds. It works amazing. I forgot I had that until I was sitting here. So you can actually use the spout. You could actually use the sprinkler part, which I love. All right, so we got all those seeds, and then there's one different kind of seeds that I wanna show you how you can plant because a lot of people see them in the stores. So you get packets like these, and I got it for a dollar last year, but how do you plant seeds like this? I mean, they come in their own little trays. So let's get started on that part of the video. All right, so lastly, we have this kind. Now, I don't like these. I don't care for this whatsoever. People love them but for me, they don't seem to work right. But because of demonstration purposes, and I want to share with you different ways to plant seeds and different seeds that you get, we're gonna try it. So the theory is these are in their own little seed packs, like seed little starting pods. <laughs> I don't even know what you wanna call it, but it's so tedious to get the seeds in there and I just don't have success with it, but we're gonna try it. So you're going to take a packet of seeds and the theory is you're going to pour your packet of seeds in one of these or in two of them. I don't know. It doesn't even specify it. So we're just going to go and put some in some of them. All right. So that made four of them. So we have the chives. It's chives, parsley, and it's always chives, parsley, and basil. That seems to be what they like to come in. One thing, it's a lot more seeds than what it calls for. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fill this with potting soil. There, I'm filling it with potting soil. That way it gives more of a chance for it to grow. I'm gonna water it and then we'll put it together. This is probably pretty old too. 
but that's what I would do. And this is <laughs> really flimsy, makeshift type of little plastic to go on top of it. Well, there you go, my friends. And that is the end of this video. And then keep watching because I'm going to be having some very unusual herbs and the foolproof way that you can germinate your herbs using the Dollar Tree supplies. Bye, everybody.